Enigma Consortium is a group of researchers trying to understand genetic influences on the structure of the human brain. Previous to Enigma, there were a lot of studies trying to relate genetic variation to risk uh, for uh, different psychiatric illnesses and also to changes in brain structure. Um, a lot of those studies, individual sites would find associations um, between genetic variants and brain structure, but unfortunately those were often not replicated uh, in subsequent studies. And the Enigma Consortium pools together many, many different sites and tries to find uh, effects that are consistent across multiple different sites. In this way, we have sort of a test for replicability um, that's inherent in the design of the Enigma Consortium. Up until now, Enigma has generally tried to relate genetic variation to brain structure changes. We're trying to see if genetic variants that create risk for uh, changes in brain structure actually overlap with genetics that create risk for certain diseases. This allows us to implicate regions as, uh, as potentially causal um, in the pathology of these diseases. So there's different types of genetic variation that exist in the genome. Uh, there's common genetic variation, which is what Enigma has centered on so far. Um, that's variation that's found commonly in the population, and generally we study that by looking at one single base pair changes in the genome. We call them single nucleotide polymorphisms. Um, there's also other types of genetic variation that are uh, in general more rare. For example, copy number variations. These are large segments are, that are deleted or duplicated in the genome um, and can have large effects on the structure of the human brain or risk for disease. There's also other modifications of the genome that, um, that are on top of the actual base pair changes of the genome, like epigenetics. And uh, Enigma is also starting to study um, epigenetic changes associated with the structure of the human brain. Our biggest efforts have been uh, trying to find common genetic variants associated with uh, gross brain structure changes. But now we're moving to studying uh, rare copy number variation changes um, and also epigenetic changes as, measure, as uh, provided through methylation studies. The APOE Epsilon 4 risk allele is a very strong risk allele for uh, generating Alzheimer's disease, for, uh, for risk for Alzheimer's disease. Um, and this risk allele seems to have uh, an effect on hippocampal volume. But interestingly, that effect is stronger at, uh, at higher ages. So the older you are, the stronger the effect of the APOE allele is. Um, so this is really interesting because also the onset of Alzheimer's disease happens later in life. So this risk allele that's, hap that's creating uh, risk for Alzheimer's disease is also creating a stronger hippocampal volume deficit at later points in, in life. It started out as a genetics working group. We're just trying to find genetics influencing the structure of the human brain. But now it's amplified into these disease working groups, uh, which try to find differences between patients with certain diseases and healthy controls. Um, and the same type of framework works perfectly well in these other types of uh, projects as well. It's a combined effort, it's a collaborative effort, um, and that without that, uh, the consortium wouldn't have worked at all.